Well, love it or hate it, this time of year, as we get cold, we inevitably start to talk about snow. Yeah, so when is typically our best chance to see that snow? CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunzing joins us to explain. With everyone talking about the potential for snow this weekend, which is still only potential, by the way, let's take a step back and talk about snow in our part of North Carolina. On average, most of our snow falls during the month of January, which has a lot to do with cold air finally pushing south, but also enough lingering muggy air to provide moisture for that snow to develop. But it's been a while since we've had a snowy winter. So far this winter, we've only had a trace across the triangle with a few inches north of Highway 64 just a few weeks ago. And last year, we didn't even pick up two inches. And the last winter where we had snowfall higher than our average of 5.2 inches was the winter of 2018 and 2019, where we came in just shy of nine inches. And that snow actually came in two days in December not even January. So we've had some snowy Januaries, however. In fact, the snowiest day in January here in Central North Carolina happened just over 20 years ago on January 25th, 2000, when 17.9 inches of snow fell in a single day. Back in December, I talked to meteorologists in charge at the Raleigh National Weather Service, Jonathan Blaze, about getting ready for winter weather. And while he says we can have impacts at any time during the winter, right now is when we need to be extra aware of the forecast. Any, any point from early uh, December all the way through early March uh, or even mid-March, uh, we have a threat of some winter weather. Um, probably the period of greatest risk would be January into February. So even if we don't get snow this weekend, if you're really wanting it, on average, get your hopes up in January. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.